No neurons, no problem. A team of researchers at Stanford University uh, is using a new gene editing therapy. This is going to allow brains to churn out neurons. This is good news. It's a groundbreaking discovery that has implications for everything from conditions like dementia to reducing the effects of a head injury. Joining us with more is CTV science and technology specialist, Dan Riskins. We could all use some more neurons, Dan. Uh, first of totally. all, let's get right down into the nitty gritty and into the basics. What exactly is a neuron? Well, so everybody kind of knows you have cells in your brain and they're brain cells and they kind of make you smart. And uh, the, most of those are the neurons themselves, which are, you know, these electrical fancy cells that connect to other ones. And it's the network of neurons that makes you smart. But that's not the only kind of cell in your brain. You have these things called neuron stem cells, which are basically the progenitors of neurons. They make neurons. And they're very good at doing that when you're young. But as you get older, they don't do it as well as they used to. And so that's sort of where this research goes, is trying to figure out, is there a way to get the brains of old people to be doing the kinds of things that the brains of young people do, which is making more neurons, which could be especially important if you've got a brain injury or a stroke or dementia or a neurological disease where you're losing brain cells. It'd be nice to be able to make new ones. Yeah, we well, you know that as we age, our brains are making less neurons, but the team behind this discovery isolated a gene that could be responsible for that. It's called GLUT4. What did the researchers do with that gene? So th this, this research is really, it's because of this CRISPR technology. A lot of people have heard about this CRISPR DNA technology where they can cut and paste genes, and it's unclear why that's such a big deal. But this kind of technology or this kind of research really shows the promise of it. What they did is they took a whole bunch of, of cell, cell lines that were from mice, uh, some from old mice, some from young mice, and they knocked out different genes. So using this CRISPR technology, they just went through and just basically turned off as many different genes as they could to see if any of them had an impact on the how quickly these neuron stem cells were making new neurons. And they came up, they realized that this one gene, GLUT4, seemed to be helping. If they turned off GLUT4, the cells started acting like they were young. They started making these new neurons. And so they went and dug a little deeper and they realized this is something that is re that is related to the transport of glucose. Hmm. So what they believe is going on is that when nearby cells are making lots of glucose in an older brain, it prevents these cells from making new neurons. And so if you can turn that off, if you can stop that glucose from showing up around the around the cell, maybe it'll act young and make new neurons. And that's the sort of hope for this technology going forward is that they can use this this uh, this breakthrough to help people who have dementia or who have neurological diseases who are in their old age to maybe find a way to get those cells to start acting young and making new neurons to help them fight back. All right, Dan, then what's next? Where does it go from here? Well, so, so far they've done it in the cell lines and then they actually got some mice and they knocked out the genes in mice and showed that it worked as expected and as hoped in mice. And so that's really exciting. And so now it's a matter of moving it into the human model. It's a matter of finding a way to test it on some cell lines that come from humans to make sure it acts the same in those as it did in mice. And then ultimately the hope is that this becomes a therapy, that, that if you have dementia or if you have brain cells that have died, um, this is something that could be used maybe with some kind of an injection, maybe with some other kind of therapy, a drug perhaps, that attacks exactly this molecular mechanism. But now that they kind of see how it could work and they can see how an intervention could work, it's all the devil's just in the details of figuring out how to apply that to people. And hopefully it, it could mean a breakthrough for people that until now have just gotten bad news and, and been told, you know, this is the way life goes. Now maybe there's, there's hope for a reversal. I love any and all research and development around our brain health, CTV science and technology specialist Dan Riskin have a great weekend you too stay smart see ya <laughs> I will try if you liked that video make sure to subscribe to the your morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning